what's up guys welcome to the channel right today guys we've got a single coil rta and this one was sent over from artery vapor for the purpose of this review so big thanks for that guys anyway it's a joint venture between vaping with vic a fellow uk reviewer and eh pro and here it is we have the stainless version here it also comes in a black version not sure about other colors as of yet we've got the ijoy shogun sitting underneath for you today so without further ado let's get down to the table have a good look around the kelpie and then we'll come back up top and i'll give you my thoughts okay see you down there in a bit right down at the table then here's the packaging then so we've got eh pros logo there we've got seek the delight of vape uh, written at the bottom there we've got the kelpie sticker with a vaping with the vic project uh, on it and this is obviously the sample packaging with another sticker on it there we've got the kelpie sticker on this side as well on the other side we've got eh pro and we've got eh pros website address we've got the barcode kelpie and stainless steel does come in a black variety as well i'm not sure about other colors as of yet social media and we've also got uh, this security code there right on the back we've got uh, a couple of cautions for you the usual markings including don't vape in a bin which is obviously one of vic's catchphrases right open it up and it's presenting in this little box like this underneath there are some instructions a little user manual here this is 25 millimeters by 14 height including the drip tip we do get a spare bubble glass which brings the capacity up to 3.5 mil the straight glass holds 2 mil and it does come in this little box we get uh, this little baggie here with a small blue phillips screwdriver a couple of look like tricore fuse something like that complex cores a couple of spare o-rings and we do have four phillips style screws in there as well and you do get some cotton right also there's the qc card and the warranty card so all that you need to get you started with this particular rta right so here is the rta then right so if we just start from the top you see we have got an 18 fitting drip tip here so it does sort of taper down from a wider bore to a narrower bore there so all your 810 fitting ones will fit just try the one from the i think it's the kylin this one came from so that just plugs in there no problem at all because we do have the o-ring that's in the top there so no troubles at all putting your own drip tips in with this one just plug it in like so around the top we've got a little bit of design work going on this is a push to fill uh, mechanism on this one so you just notice there we have got the little arrow so if you do push that forward it exposes the fill port so you just fill up your juice through there it holds two milliliters in straight glass mode when you're full just push it back and we do have kelpie and a little bit of engraving there you can just see it kelpie uh, along the top We'll have a look at the chimney in a minute we'll take it all apart a quick look on the bottom so we have got design by vaping with vic eh pro there ce and don't vape in a bin of course and we've got the serial number and i have number 20 right we've got a gold plated uh, positive pin with the peak insulator that does surround it so it doesn't protrude very much so i wouldn't advise using this on a hybrid mechanical device adjustable airflow we've got we have got stoppers on both sides so that's it fully closed off and you can adjust it to your liking and it will be the same on the other side now this ring here it doesn't actually come off but it will lock in the fully open position for you so let's just take the base off look at the deck in a minute and that's what we're looking like inside because so we've got a lovely bit of doming going on nice threading on here as you can see there so the glass piece pulls off like so we'll have a quick look at this chimney in a little bit more detail so there's the kelpie logo now if you're wondering what a kelpie is uh, i didn't really know before i started uh, using this particular tank but it's basically a scots name given to a shape-shifting water spirit inhabiting the locks and pools of scotland now it's usually described as being appearing as a horse but it's able to, able to adopt a human form but we've obviously got the a horse shape on there we've also got a bit of a scottish castle going on so let's just put the 
bubble tank on so that goes like that chuck the base pack on lovely threads on here and that's what we look like in bubble tank mode which I, I do like to use because you get that little bit more capacity right on to the most interesting part of this then we've got the build deck we've got it sitting on top of the Dilligaf atti stand which you can purchase from facebook so you'll notice we've got uh, a bit of a split going on down the middle where the peak insulator does split the positive to the negative now if you look on the side here the peak insulator does come around all the way around this side here so this whole block here is your positive and that does mean that uh, you can mount it's a single coil only obviously you can mount your coil uh, horizontally in the middle and put both legs into one or the other sides or you could do it on opposite sides if you did want to have one leg there and one over there but i tend to just mount it with both legs on the same side it makes it a little bit easier so it's a really good design deck i've not seen one that's uh, actually shaped like this so yeah it looks pretty funky so you notice on the side we haven't got a retainer ring for the uh, the cotton but basically what works best for this is using short short cotton legs and basically just dam off this particular piece here just on the top so you, you uh, allow the juice to still flow freely underneath here so it wicks up a bit more efficiently but we'll show you that when we do the actual build you notice we have got a number of um, honeycomb airflow holes uh, we've got a smaller diameter for the center holes there now Vic's idea with this was that uh, he basically wanted more air to be coming from these two um, rows of holes here so it's hitting like the angle at the side but he also was thinking that if you've got small holes in the middle it will give you higher pressure so you should get a jet of air which will directly hit the underneath of the coils. so you should be getting like full airflow coverage for this one so yeah interesting concept we'll talk about it a bit later on what i think about the airflow but uh yeah that, that's basically it guys we've got the four phillips screws there like i said before you just put your cotton in both of these sides here and let's have a look at the actual uh where the the leads go of your coils so i've unscrewed this side already so you can just see there you can get some nice size uh a nice sized coil in here and you have sort of got a lip so it does sort of trap it quite nicely so yeah we've got the o-ring around the base here as well to help make the seal with the glass so let's put a little build in it now right today's build we're using a vapor depot handmade alien cord here three times 27 gauge nichromator with a 36 gauge wrap and this is what it looks like so we've got six wraps on it so very nice looking cool so we're going to use that today we're also using the coily tool at 5.5 millimeters so if we put that find your 5.5 on here put it through the bottom and then just snip these off flush right so there we go we've got 5.5 millimeters on both of the legs so check out the coily tool facebook page if you want to purchase one of these you can get yourself a nice uh, personalized one so yeah check out the facebook page and group there we go get it in there just like that and then just tighten up the screws I reckon somewhere around there should be perfect with it's just experiment uh, by yourselves but I found that to have it slightly higher was giving me a bit better airflow coverage but it's all to, down to the individual basically so now you can just put it on a mod and bed the coil in right so when you have uh, you've cut your legs but if you don't use the coil tool just make sure that they're not uh, coming out too far here because when you put the chimney back on now let's just have a look at the resistance it's 0.26 ohms but if we put the chimney back on just have another check to see whether that resistance stays the same and and if it does it means that you're not getting a short circuit so thing to remember before you actually put the chimney back on 
Right, that should do it. It's glowing evenly from the inside out, so we can let that cool down, and then we can put some cotton in it. Right, we're using some Muji cotton today. I've got about a centimetre and a half. We've got three millimetre internal diameter core, so pinch one end and uh, feed it through. Right, with this particular deck, look around the side like I said before we haven't got the retainer ring so if you get your scissors you just basically want to rest it up against that edge there here we go so we've got the bow tie going on same on this side floof up the ends right normally I would uh, I would rake out the cotton and stuff but this particular RTA just find a nice short short cotton legs but don't rake it out because you still need a, the cotton in there but uh, you just don't want to be pulling too much of it out but just keep the legs nice and short get this nicely juiced up as well Right, now is the tricky bit. So, basically, you don't want to have this jam packed full of cotton, so just sort of tease it in there. Now, on Vic's introductory video, he was saying basically, if you, you're using a Max VG to tuck this particular piece underneath, but I'm using ATVG 20PG, and so basically, you don't have to worry too much, just tease this a bit down like this do the same on the other side so when you actually put the top cap on because what's basically happening you see here we have got like you see the top cap it will actually push push it down as well so just find a thread screw it on down and that should be perfect but if you are using max vg i suggest you look at what vic did on his particular video but you basically want to really make sure you push it underneath so it plugs out that side bit of the um the side port the uh, wicking ports I should say there you go that's full up so that's it that's the Kelpie RTA cord and wicked up so let's go back up top and I'll tell you what I think about it right we're back up top with a Kelpie RTA by EH Pro and vaping with Vic right what are my thoughts with this one then right we'll start with fit and finish build quality and all of that jazz very well put together this is we've got no rough edges we've got a nice bit of nerding around the top cap the airflow adjustment is a nice bit of resistance to it but it's easily done on the mod it's easier if you haven't got the bubble glass on but i tend to rock it in bubble glass mode because you get more e-liquid 3.5 mil over 2 mil but it does look pretty good in the straight glass mode but i, I just found that i was tending to refill it every 10 minutes because uh, this is quite a thirsty little tank this one which is a good thing because it means it's wicking up that e-liquid uh, very well indeed but we've got nice threads on the chimney going to the base good over in tolerances to this one got a 810 fitting drip tip so i've got the one off the kylin on here because it matches the uh, shogun very nicely indeed but the one that came with it is a very nice marble uh, black variety but it's um, yeah we got a bit of orange and white in there but it's very comfortable no problems at all there in fact i quite like this drip tip but it just doesn't match this particular mod so i tend to like uh, rocking the green tip with this particular one 
Now the build deck is very easy to build. I love the fact it's got that split design going on so you can just mount the core to one side. Uh, very easy to install. Now it is use, uh, easier probably if you use the longer legs of your core and sort of bend them down so it can sort of go underneath and slip in a little bit easier. But uh, the good thing with using this coily tool is if you do it like to 5.5 mil, you ensure that you're not going to have any hard shorts with it touching the chimney. So I just tend to like to do it that particular way. Now I've got a slight niggle with the post screws with this one. Uh, they work very well, but uh, you have to use a smaller type Phillips screwdriver like the uh, Core Master one. But I don't think they're the strongest in the world, those particular screws. So I would have preferred some beefier screws or maybe hex style Allen key screws. But that's just a subjective con for me. Now the top field port, you just have to find out where the marker is. And it's in line with the Kelpie symbol. So you just push it. But I do find this is a little bit easily pressed uh, just for me because basically it reminds me of the glass v2 that one's quite uh, easy as well because look you can just wiggle it quite freely which isn't a major problem but like the other day i was driving down into town and the mod sort of lent over like that onto the cup and it sort of pushed this piece forward so i ended up getting like juice leaking out of it so for me personally i would have just preferred to have a screw filled because it stops that particular issue but if you're just vaping it normally it's not going to come undone on you or anything like that it's just something i thought i'd better point out so anyway let's have a little toot on this one we'll have the airflow fully open and we'll crank the wattage up to 70 watts We've got a 0.27 ohm coil. Here we go. Airflow wide open. So you're getting nice smooth vape with this one. You do get a bit of crackling and uh, popping going on, but that's because it's uh, wicking up very uh, effectively. You just see the bubble coming up there but this has got a little bit of restriction to it as you probably gather because we got all of those honeycomb airflow holes and we've also got a rather large coil in there so it is restricting the air in this so a rating out of 10 with 10 being the widest open one being a super tight draw i would probably give this no more than a 6.5 or 7 out of 10 so it is quite a restrictive vape so if you like your big airy airflows i'm not sure you'll be getting on with this one but if you like me you like a semi-restrictive vape i think this could well be your cup of tea but you can crank the wattage up higher i i prefer doing it around 55 60 but we'll put it on to 80 watts for you As you can see, it wicks uh, like a champion. Got more bubbles coming up there as well. And yeah, so it's um, you can put some high wattages through uh, this particular tank, although I have got uh, like an alien coil in there, but it's up to you to find out your preference. For me personally, I like to knock the airflow down just a little bit, but we'll try it on half now, and I'm going to put the wattage down to 55 watts. Still getting used to this uh, Shogun mod goes up in point ones which is a little bit of a niggle here we go and we'll put the airflow to a quarter now for me this is getting too restrictive because like i say it's quite restrictive anyway so you can quite happily just rock it with it wide open or sometimes i just do just a little bit cut it down just a little bit but uh, yeah the airflow is really good on this it's smooth across the board so no problems at all with that but uh, what about the flavor though this is a flavor banger guys there's no getting around it uh, we've got bottom airflow single core natty honeycomb airflow we're getting great airflow from it but we're also getting some pretty banging flavor i would give this a a nine out of ten for a single coiler so for me that's a, a very good rating it's uh this 
this is the one I've been picking up recently. I recently reviewed the OBS Engine Nano as a retro review and I put it up against this. And this one is uh, blowing it away. You're getting a nice crisp flavour. I tend to vape on my fruity vapes. I haven't really tried it on a dessert type uh, vape. But if you like your fruity vapes, I think this one uh, really delivers those uh, notes for very well indeed. So yeah, it's really good flavourful tank, easy to build on. We got nice smooth airflow. Uh, I think it looks pretty good as well. Like not everyone's going to like the bubble, but just put the straight glass on. You just got to sacrifice a little bit of capacity. But all in all, this particular tank, I'd definitely give it a thumbs up to EH Pro and vaping with Vic. I think they've done a, a very good job with this one. So big thanks to Artery Vapor for sending it over for review. It is very much appreciated. And if you enjoyed the review, guys, please give it a little thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing too. And uh, make sure you hit that little bell notification to be notified of all my latest videos. Now, I've got my own website. It's mf8.co.uk. And you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So until next time, guys, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you again very soon. Okay, cheers.